Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in static, so we're going to do problem 4.104, okay? It says, replace the force system acting on the post by a resultant force and a coupled moment at point O, okay? So we got this post over here, it has three forces, these three forces, um, this 300 pounds is being described by a 30 degree angle, we got 200 pounds only going to the right, and we got this 150 pounds described by the 345 triangle, similar triangle, okay? And our point O is, at, is over here at this point of the, of the post, okay? Now, if we want to find the resultant force, we need to add all the forces in the X direction. So let's just start with this 200 pounds. So we got positive 200, then we have positive 300 multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees, okay? And then we'll have a negative of this 150 pounds, but how much of it? I have four out of five. So I have four out of five of 150 pounds, okay? And let's check this out, how much is this? So I have 200, minus, I'm sorry, plus 300 cosine of 30 degrees minus 4 out of 5 multiplied by 150. And this gives me, gives me 340 pounds. Okay, now we're done with that one. Let's do the sum of your forces in the y direction. So what do we have? We have the 300 multiplied by the sine of my 30 degree angle going up. And I also have a positive 150. How much of it? I have three out of five. So I got three out of five multiplied by my 150. Okay, so let's check how much this is. So 300 multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees plus 3 over 5 multiplied by 150 and this gives me a total of 240 pounds, okay? So if we were to find our magnitude of the resultant force will be equal to the square root of 340 squared plus 240 squared and how much is this? So we're gonna do the square root of 340 squared plus 240 square, and this gives me 416 pounds, okay? What about my angle theta? So in which direction is this result on force? So I'm gonna do the inverse tan of the opposite, which is my y, so 240, divided by my x, which is 340. Okay, so if I do that in the calculator, I'll do inverse tangent of 240 divided by 340, and that gives me 35.2 degrees, okay? So we're done finding the forces. Now, what about the moments, about 0.0? So if we do the summatory of moments about my 0.0, this is going to be equal to, so let's start with these 200 pounds. So this 300, 200 pounds are gonna push me this way and it's going to try to rotate my system clockwise, okay? So for clockwise, I will use a negative. So I have negative of my force multiplied by the distance, which is two feet, okay? Now, same with the 300 pounds going to the left. So the X component of this 300 is going to be negative two. So I got 300, Multiply by the cosine of 30 degrees. Multiply by the distance, which is going to be 2, 4, and 6 feet. So multiply by 6, okay? Now, the y component of this force is acting in this direction over here, right? Which has 0 uh distance so if i multiply force times zero it will give me zero moment so i don't have to worry about that one same for the y direction of this 150 pound now all i have to worry it's about the x direction of this 
150 and if we rotate the system making this way it's going to be a counterclockwise so it's going to be positive how much do i have in the x direction well i have four out of five so i have four out of five of my 150 multiplied by the distance which is going to be two plus two it's equal to four okay now what is this equal to so my moment around point o is going to be equal to so we got negative of 200 multiplied by 2 which is negative 400 minus 300 cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by 6 and then we have plus 4 out of 5 multiplied by 115 multiplied by 4 and this is equal to negative 1400 and 80 pounds per foot okay basically this is a 1480 pounds per foot going in my clockwise direction okay so we found our moment our resultant and our angle theta thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments, please just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.